can always remember being a 14-year-old boy playing football in London and being eight stone, ringing wet. Everyone telling me how much ability I had, but I was never gave the physique to be a footballer. I got told so many times that I couldn't make it because of my size, and I thought, it's their loss, not mine. I was training at West Ham at the time, I trained at Arsenal, and it was always the same. You know, you've got everything, but we don't think you can have the physicality. When people say you can't, I feel to me I want to prove them wrong. For me, I had no issues as a player. In fact, my first sign of any type of mental illness was back 11 years ago now. I was managing at Cambridge United. I've been managing probably for about 400 games by then. I just felt, I don't know what I felt, if I'm honest with you, I felt a bit strange. I felt a little bit anxious about decision making and that type of stuff. I remember after deciding to leave a player out of the team on a Saturday, this started to put me into meltdown. I've got to explain to that player that he's not playing. That's going to go on to his family and everything is dark, dark, dark. You know, that's catastrophic thinking and making situations worse than they actually are. I had to take 10 days off work that was hidden from Cambridge United in terms of why I took the time off. I went to see a consultant. Uh, I was put on mild medication. Uh, said I had a slight uh, anxiety problem and, and uh, slight signs of depression as well. Done some CBT. It disappeared as quick as it came along and ignored the fact that it had ever been there, if I'm totally honest. Went down to Torquay. Family lived in Vauxhall in Hertfordshire. Uh, my wife and my two children. There was no way the family were going to move, so I moved down there on my own. End up feeling the same feelings again uh, down in Torquay, but they didn't, they didn't go away this time, and it culminated in actually having a mental breakdown. Come out expecting to go straight back to Torquay to do my job. Torquay decided at that stage that they no longer wanted me as their manager and they explained to me that was a footballing reason. The fact that they had to say it was a footballing reason tells me it wasn't a footballing reason. It was a totally that I uh, had the depression and they didn't quite know how to cope with it, which I can understand, but I just wish they would have been honest. When I first had depression, the first thing I thought I was was weak. I thought I was a weak person for getting the illness and I couldn't get that out of my head. I felt like a scared little kid actually, some of the time, and that's where I thought I was weak. My wife and kids would go out to the shops being left on my own. That sounds ridiculous, doesn't it, as a, as a whatever I was, a 46 year old man. You get yourself into an hole that you can't get out of. Football is a difficult environment, being male dominant, more powerful than your opponent. I think there's a lot of industries where it's the same. And I think football still got them issues. When people see me come back into the game, they thought maybe the wrong choice because of my background and my my illness. And I always remember when I took this job and I was speaking to Nigel and Kent, my owners, I felt I had to say this sentence to them, do you know my background and my mental health? And they both went, yeah, we do. We're not concerned about it. And that was like, wow. That was a, that, for me, that was a moment that was so, so good. Because before, I, I, I know that it, it, it held me back. Being director of football here at Lake Norrin has brought up some difficult situations. Nothing more difficult than losing Justin last year. We believe as a football club that he is part of what we, we have been since he's passed. He's always been here with us and we'll, and we'll carry that forward. Most people have probably been touched with mental health in their life. It's something that we can all suffer with. It's something that we can all, you know, that can touch any of us. Have you got 
control over it? Probably not. Can you deal with it if it does happen? Definitely yes.